Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, uh, let's see. Next one, diet and meal ideas for people who don't have a lot of money to buy expensive food or nutritious meals, mainly lunch or supper with only a few ingredients. Um, yeah, I I kind of uh, live, the, live this way. Now, um, what I can do for this is in my notes section, I will address this and I will put a post on that very thing. Uh, frugal meals, um, ingredients, uh, like a grocery list maybe uh, for people that are on budget. Okay, so I will address this. Um, do you all just do 12 minute sessions or do you do more? Uh, all that's necessary are these 12 minute sessions combined with clean eating and um, consistency okay so you can do more uh, I don't I well I do the 12 minute workouts one a day and then I do the bonus exercises that a lot of times you'll see in some of my videos like toning little ab or butt exercises um, things like that maybe some jumping jacks but I don't do maybe like my main workout in the morning and then like uh, the bonus thing in the evening. So um, I'm very active throughout the day with my kids. I'm always on the go. So I would say that all day I'm pretty active um, and that that's helpful as well. I mean, uh, I don't ever just lounge on the couch. Uh, the longest I'm sitting is like usually when I'm Facebooking and answering questions or commenting. Um, that's that's pretty much my TV time. Uh, let's see. And your video could be about your earlier days and what motivation and inspiration you used to come through times rather than just be about dirt and exercise. Wow. Okay, that's huge to me. Uh, let's see. Okay, that was... Let me make sure I answered all the questions. Uh, let's see. Cheat treats. Do you enjoy and how often? Okay, uh, just on the weekend, I have dark chocolate throughout the week, uh, maybe a little piece or two a day with my coffee. Uh, unclean food is usually on my Sunday, on my rest day, um, and I will, I will usually, I won't go overboard because I'm not a big sweet eater, but we usually go out to a restaurant or something on the weekend, so I will order my cheesecake and I will usually share it with my one of my boys uh, Gabe likes cheesecake so I don't even you know eat like the whole piece usually um, I'll eat and enjoy it and then I will uh, probably order something <clears throat> that I wouldn't usually order because I don't really care it's it's my day and I've worked hard all week and it's doesn't have a bad impact on my body at all so um, it's actually necessary and, and important. I think that we practice, you know, a good balance in our approach to food and, um, and yeah, it's not hurting me. So I definitely, I definitely think that we should indulge at least once a week and enjoy it and not, not beat ourselves up about it and not regret it and all that. I mean, you don't want to, I don't ever go and just like bloat myself. Like I, I just don't live that way anymore <laughs> because I feel too bad afterwards and I, uh, I just, it's not worth it to me and it's a little bit gluttonous anyway and I just try not to live that way. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I think that that answered. I just don't want to miss somebody. How do you start a program like Body Rock? It can be overwhelming to some of us. Okay, so how do you start? Um, the workouts are all there in the archives. You don't have to start with any one workout. They all are are great to. Um, do the job, which is to tone you up, um, improve your fitness level, uh, work all of your muscles, uh, or most all of your muscles, um, get in a good fat burning session. So you can start anywhere. Some of the workouts are harder than others, and you can always, you know, click on one and look at the comments below and watch the video and see what you think. 
Um, but when I when I do it, I honestly uh, I write down the workout in my notebook and then say it's just a random day and I'm out somewhere and I want to do a workout. I just I just go back and and refer back to my little notebook and just pick one. I just pick one and do it, and um, I don't I don't even stress about which one I did or you know which one I missed or something like that. Like they're they're all there. They're not going anywhere. And I just I keep them. I keep notes of the workouts and how I felt after I did them and then I just refer back. So you got to start somewhere. So just jump in there and pick a workout and do it. Write it down and write how you felt and write your times if you want and, and write what you ate that day and just keep like a little fitness journal as you go along and you'll you'll find that it really is just a matter of doing it and you'll you'll get good at it and you'll get you'll get like really excited about some of your progress. Um, so start anywhere. You don't have to, you know, start a certain workout. Um, yeah, and I mean, you should invest in like a, a timer because we use that a lot. You don't have to buy all the equipment. You can still do the workouts without all the equipment. And there are other things that you can use around your house instead of a certain piece of equipment. Uh, go into it with a good attitude and just you know, I just navigate the site and we're launching a new site mid-September, which is going to be even better and easier to navigate. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm stuck staring at my weight, which fluctuates and wondering what I should expect. You are obviously fit and I can't help but wonder what you weigh and if it matters to you. Any advice? Um, yeah, there's there's uh, there's a scale. Um, actually, we have now that my husband is trying to lose weight and all that. Uh, for him, it matters kind of because um, he, for one, is not weight obsessed, um, and two, he's using it to, you know, track his his progress. Me, uh, a scale is not necessary. I have been uh, about the same weight for mm, past couple years in and out of pregnancy. Um, I weigh about between 115 to 120 um, and then you know that varies. Um, I don't and that's just from like my doctor appointment or whatever just remembering what I weighed. Um, I do not uh, go by a scale. Uh, I go by how I'm feeling. I know I know how to eat. I know what works well for my body. Um, and I even know, like, if my calories weren't good a certain day, like if they were less than they should have been because, say, I didn't feel well or I slept all day or whatever, um, I will always go and just even eat a little extra the next day and try to, um, you know, nourish my body the way I do not diet. I don't believe in it. It can be very dangerous to be stuck on numbers with scales and it can lead to issues you don't want that I've seen that a lot um, I even used to you know just eat all low fat when I was in college and I was a runner and I needed lots of uh, I just had no understanding of the way I should be eating and I was uh, scale like conscious and I was always you know wondering about the number I didn't understand that that is not a proper way to to approach your weight, your fitness, your health. Um, I go by my how my clothes fit. I go by how I'm feeling. I go by what my body feels like it needs. Um, and I don't even get on a scale. I do when I go to the doctor. I do when I was pregnant. But other than that, I do not weigh myself because I really don't care. I don't care what that number says. Um, you know, I care how I look. I care how I feel. Um, and I've, I've known myself long enough to know uh, what that means. Um, and uh, I don't encourage anyone to diet. I encourage them to change their lifestyle and to eat real foods and to use portion control and to use moderation and to enjoy life. That's, that's my approach. Um, okay, but it's understandable that you are, you know, sort of... Uh, a lot of women and men are are sort of stuck on a number and I just want you to know that that is is normal for a lot of people but it's it's really not proper uh, focus okay um, and try to change that if if at all possible okay 
how to work out and eat and what to eat when you're beginning weeks of pregnancy with morning sickness. Okay, I didn't have that. If I had had morning sickness, uh, I know that they say eat small portions every couple hours because I read up on it. Um, I might have been sick one day, like nauseous. Um, I didn't really notice much of that. So uh, for that, there's a lot of information in your uh, with your nurse and your pregnancy packets. And uh, I used, what is that site that I used? I used a site online. I will try to find it. I forget what that was. Uh, they had everything like related to pregnancy and children. It was great. Huh. So um, I have a video on what I did body rocking while pregnant on my YouTube channel, Body Rocker Lush. So I'm not going to go into this just because I addressed all of it in that video. Okay. So you can just look up that video and watch that and that answers those questions. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to go back to this last question. Um, your video could be about your earlier days and what motivation and inspiration you used to come through hard times. Okay, um, this, yeah, like I said, this is huge to me, and I talked, I touched a little bit on it in my video that I did when I was in Canada, um, and I just said that, you know, I'd had a hard, uh, a hard start in life. I... Um, I went through a lot of a lot of hard times. Uh, didn't have a very um, easy time of it. Uh, some just uh, some things happened to me in my twenties um, that that just uh, contributed to an unhealthy lifestyle. Um, heavy drinking, um, not proper eating, um, depression. Um, poor self-image, poor self-esteem. Um, if you had met me back in my early to mid-20s, um, I was a completely different person. Um, one day I woke up and I didn't want to live anymore. And that was the scariest thing that I've ever felt because it was just so not like me. And I knew myself, but I was losing myself. I was losing myself because of um, just so many things, um, sadness going on inside of me. Uh, I wasn't this positive person that I am now at all, but it did contribute to um, um, being a catalyst for me seeking out uh, health and wellness. And I wanted it so badly after I woke up that day and didn't want to live it anymore. And I told my husband like the same day how I was feeling he wasn't was he yeah so he um he ended up staying by my side the entire day and holding me and made me a wonderful healthy meal um and was very nurturing my husband has been a complete rock in my life and he has contributed to so much, excuse me, of who I am today. Um, he is my person and he will be somebody that will, I, without a doubt, will always be by my side. And this means a lot to me, which is why uh, the tears, because um, I believe that people are put in our life oh, to help us and um, they're there for a reason and that's why I love him so because um, he's just been the biggest blessing that ever walked in my life so um, yeah I struggled I struggled for a good couple years and then one day I did actually I was surfing the internet and I found Body Rock and uh, I watched a couple videos and I did my first workout and uh, it helped change my life. So um, a lot of people don't understand that, but um, yeah, it's huge to me and it brought me where I am today. It didn't just get my body in good shape. And healthy again but 
um, it was everything else. It was the emotional side. It was the, I got um, incredible energy, an incredible drive, an incredible motivation. I have empathy for people that are in the places like I was. I don't judge people. I don't look down on people. I believe in people because I was the most pitiful mess um, in my earlier years and uh, I needed a way to channel all of my negativity and my hurt and my pain into something good and that's exactly what I found and that's exactly what I did and that's that's why um, I believe so much in what I'm doing that's why I honestly want to help and I want to encourage and I just I don't want any of you to feel like um, it's impossible to change your life and to change who you are and to change your way of thinking your thought processes um, there's no room for pride with me I am thankful I am thankful for all that I'm given I'm thankful for life I love living now I love who I am I love my family I love my friends and I wouldn't change this entire experience of my life for any amount of money I would never change it so I'm here today with a little bit of a a little bit of a you know sob story if you will but uh, it's real to me and it's why I am where I am today so I hope this was helpful and um, I'm not sad I'm just it just touched me and I wanted to share that with you guys for a while um, so I'm glad that I did and I hope that it helps some of you to realize that I haven't always been this person this uh, positive fit well happy person um, it was a journey and I'm loving it and um, I hope it helps I hope it helps you to see that so have a beautiful day and I will be checking in soon bye